Hello dear listeners, I hope you are feeling okay and today we are going to analyze another novel which is known as Pass Like a Shadow written by Benadi Mapalala. Uh, mpenzi msikilizaji, ni matumaini yangu siku ya leo ni mzima wa afya na leo tutaenda kwa pamoja kuchambua a uh, riwaya inayofahamika kwa jina la Pass Like a Shadow ambapo mwandishi wa riwaya yetu anafahamika kwa jina la Benadi Mapalala. Uh, dear listener, in analyzing and little work, we are going to pass through form and the content of the book so as to understand the intention of the author to the, our contemporary societies. Mpenzi um, msikilizaji, katika utambuzi wa kazi yote ya fasi, uh, kususa ni riwaya, tutenda kuangazia vipengele vya fani, lakini pia tutangazia vipengele vya mauzui, ya ni form and content. Kisha baada hapo, uh, tutaelewa mwandishi alikuwa ana lengo gani katika uh, jamii zetu hizi ambazo tunaziishi hivi sasa uh, in this book we are going to analyze by starting with the title of the book uh, katika uchambuzi wa kitabu uh, kwanza kabisa tutaanzia katika title yani katika jina la kitabu uh, as you know the title of this novel is known as past like a shadow kama tunavyofahamu title uh, la kitabu chetu linafahamika kwa jina la past like a shadow ambapo kwa Kiswahili uh, tunaweza kusema ni kama kutokomea kama kivuli au kupita kama kivuli. Uh, this title is symbolic title uh, lakini tukumbuke uh, title letu au jina la kitabu chetu limetumika kama symbolic. What do we mean when we say uh, the title of the book is symbolic? We mean that uh, the title has been used to suggest something else kwamba uh, ili jina la kitabu limetumika kusuggest kitu kingine yani kumaanisha kitu kingine tofauti na hichi ambacho kilikuwa kimeandikwa. Ah uh, ni nini hicho ambacho mwandishi alikuwa amemaanisha? Ah uh, first when you read this book uh, the novelist presented the Adelis family that suffered in a tragedy of AIDS pandemic and passed uh, from the scene of life like a shadow leaving behind the only one family member who is a book uh, who is uh, free from HIV. Ah uh, kwamba ukiangalia katika hicho kitabu uh, mwandishi anaonyesha jinsi gani familia ya Adelis ilivyokuwa ikiangaika uh, kutokana na tatizo Uh, la ukimu au janga la ukimu na familia nzima ikaangamia kwa ukimu isipokuwa mhusika mmoja tu eh, ambaye ni family member alikuwa anafahamika kwa jina la Aboki who uh, passed like a shadow ambapo sasa huyu msichana eh, kwake ukimu ulipita kama kivuli yani it means kama kivuli kinavyoweza kupotea pale jua linapochomoza ah, ndipo huyu binti naye alivyoweza kupona kwa namna hiyo kutoka katika janga la ukimu And also uh, the title represent uh, the fact that AIDS pandemic has invaded the whole of Uganda and uh, washed people away in large number uh, within a very short time. Uh, lakini pia ili title linawakilisha kwamba ili gonjwa la ukimu limevamia katika nchi ya Uganda na likaua watu wengi kwa kipindi kifupi mno. Eh, asema uh, this is compared to the shadow that disappears quickly uh, when the sun disappears in the clouds. Hii inawakilishwa na kama na kivuli ambacho Uh, kinaweza kikatokomea ghafla tu pale ambapo jua linapoweza kuchomoza. Eh, yaani jua likitokeza tu kwenye mawingu basi kivuli nacho kinaweza kikachomoza. Uh, apart from the families uh, whose societies in Uganda and Tanzania and AIDS is killing people so quickly, most of people have acquired the disease unaware and ignorant to spread it unknowingly. The whole community is passing away like a shadow. Lakini pia uh, title of this book linamaanisha kwamba ukiangalia katika nchi zetu kama Uganda pamoja na Tanzania gonjwa la ukimwi linaua watu na watu wanakuwa anawea na watu wanakuwa hawajitambui wanakuwa wajinga wanazidi kulieleza ili gonjwa kwa hiyo it means the whole community is passing away like a shadow kwa ina maanisha jamii nzima inapotea kama kivuli kinavyoweza kupotea i think now everyone is familiar with the title of the book a pass like a shadow naamini mpaka hapa kila mtu atakuwa anaelewa ni nini tunamaanisha tukiwa tunasema passed like a shadow Now uh, in this book uh, we have number of characters uh, katika hichi kitabu chetu pia uh, tuna idadi ya wahusika ambapo tutaanza kuwachambua mmoja baada ya mwingine. Uh, the first character is called Adjeri, mhusika kwanza anaitwa Adjeri, he is the father of Waboki and Atok and husband of Amot. Huyu uh, ni baba wa Waboki pamoja na Atoki, lakini pia ni mume wa Amot. Mm, he is an ex headmaster of St. Rose High School. Lakini mhusika huyu ameoneshwa kama ni uh, mkuu wa shule ambaye amestafu katika shule ya St. Rose High School. Uh, he loses job 
as a result of financial scandal uh, for the money he steals and he build house for the for, for Birungi uh, at Burungu uh, kwamba musika huu pia anaonekana uh, kabisa kwamba kitendo cha kufukuzwa kazi wa demasta ilikuwa ni baada ya skendo ya kuiba fedha na kumjengea nyumba uh, Birungi ambaye alikuwa kishi Burungu kumbuka huyo alikuwa ni kimada wake sio mke wake wa Haradi uh, also he is very drunkard lakini musika huu ni mrevi kama mwandishi alivyomuonesha uh, it means also uh, he was responsible since he does not care his family lakini pia musika huu alikuwa hawajibiki kwa sababu alikuwa atimizi majukumu yake katika familia uh, he is also a victim of hiv aids lakini pia uh, musika huyu mwisho wa siku anakuja kuangamia kwa gonjwa la ukimwi another part of this book uh, is known as amoti musika mwingine katika hichi kitabu anafahamika kwa jina la amoti uh, amoti uh, is the wife of jerry and the mother of aboko and the talk uh, amoti ni uh, mke wa jerry lakini pia ameoneshwa kama mama wa aboki pamoja na toki she is also responsible uh, and caring mother a uh, musika huyu ameoneshwa kama ni musika ambaye anawajibika na anatimiza majukumu yake kama mama uh, since uh, her husband was humanizer uh, and also he took a measure uh, to control his family and to care them uh, japokuwa mumewe alikuwa ni malaya alikuwa irresponsible atimizi majukumu yake lakini uh, mwanamama huyu akachukua majukumu uh, ya kuendelea kulea uh, familia and also she is a tribalist uh, since she denies Vicky to marry a man from another tribe lakini pia uh, musika wa maoneshwa kama ni mkabila kwani alimkataza Vicky kuolewa na mtu kutoka katika kabila lingine uh, <coughs> the guy was from uh, uh, Munyamahanga uh, yule bwana alikuwa anatoka Munyamahanga kwa hiyo alizuiliwa kumua huyu 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 musika amot ali, alizuia ndoa ya Vicky uh, kwa kwa, kup, kwa kuprefer the issue of uh, tribes kwa kuamini katika makabila yani kwamba uh, watu wanatoka different tribes hawezi wakaoana uh, hata kidogo and also she is superstitious uh, muskauti ameoneshwa kama ni mtu anayeamini katika imani za kishirikina amoti believes that sickness of her husband is due to witchcraft alikuwa anaamini kwamba magonjwa yalikuwa yanamsumbua mumewe uh, yalikuwa yanatokana na na masuala ya kishirikina yeye eh, alikuwa anaamini ukimu ukipata ukimu uh, umelogwa and also she is a victim of hiv aids lakini mwisho wa siku a uh, musika pia anakuja kukumbwa na janga la ukimu she also wept away from the scene uh, uh, by the pandemic which is contacted uh, from her husband and cast away uh, like a shadow na yeye pia anaambukiza wagonjwa la ukimu kutoka kwa mumewe na mwisho wa siku naye anakuwa pasi like a shadow anatokomea kama kivuli <clears throat> another part of this book is known as atoki musika mwingine uh, katika kitabu chetu anafahamika kwa jina la atoki who is atoki by the way atoki is the son of a jerry who suffers uh, for poor bringing uh, from his heavy drinking father atoki ni, ni, ni miongoni mwa watoto wa kiume wa jerry uh, ambao wanahangaika uh, kutokana uh, na baba yao kuwa irresponsible na wanakosa matuzo. Uh, he is handsome and famous football star lakini musika huyu alikuwa na sura kuvutia, yani kijana mtana shati lakini pia alikuwa ni maarufu sana katika uchezaji wa mpira. He is nicknamed as Fort Porto Burit lakini walimpa jina la utani kama Fort Porto Burit uh, kutokana na ile high performance uh, during uh, games kutokana na ile umaarufu wake na jinsi alivyokuwa akiperform kwa zango kubwa wakati wa michezo mbalimbali. And also uh, uh, he is easily forgiving unlike his mother lakini alikuwa ni mwepesi sana wa kusamea uh, kuliko mama yake he forgives his father uh, when he is brought home by his fans uh, at the time when Adjeri was uh, serious six uh, kwamba uh, huyu alikuwa na huruma pale ambapo baba yake anarudishwa na umma japo kwa mama yake alikataa lakini yeye alikubali uh, kumpokea he is also a victim of peer pressure lakini pia huyu tumeoneshwa kama ni mhanga uh, wa kushawishiwa na makundi he is influenced by his friends david in kampala and begins chasing girls kwamba alishawishiwa na rafiki yake akiwa kampara david ndipo akaanza kujiingiza kwenye mahusiano na watoto wa kike uh, following his behavior he gets hiv uh, from his girlfriend known as ada and soon uh, to die after aids uh, hii kapelekea mwisho wa siku anakuja kupata uh, a uh, gonjwa la ukimu kutoka kwa mchumba yake ambaye alikuwa akifahamika kwa jina la Eda. Uh, anasema uh, he has a changing behavior. Kwa it means this character change his behavior. Alibadilisha totally kabisa uh, tabia yake and he is a betrayer or a traitor. Lakini pia ameoneshwa kama uh, msaliti. He betray his sister and his mother. Uh, kwani hapa amemsaliti 
dada yake pamoja na mamake uh, especially when his mother is sick uh, when his mother is sick he does not provide any financial help to the extent that abok uh, has to give vicky a financial support and the rise on support to given by john eh, which later turn out to be a trip kwamba hakutoa msaada kwa familia yake hii inampelekea uh, mdogo wake aboki kwanza kuchukua msaada kutoka kwa John ambako huo msaada mwisho wa siku ilikuwa ni kama truck ilikuwa ni kama mbinu iliyompelekea naye kuja kubakwa tutakuja kuona hapo mbele uh, another cult of this book is known as aboki who is aboki aboki uh, she is a daughter of Algeria and Amot au uh, ni mtoto wa kike wa Algeria pamoja na Amot uh, she is a good advisor ni mhusika ambaye ameoneshwa kama mwenye ushauri mzuri. Uh, she advises Atoki to be careful uh, when in Kampala race uh, he dies. Kwamba alimshawishi uh, Atoki awe makini sana anapoelekea kule Kampala. Uh, she is a faithful and a disciplined lakini ameoneshwa kama uh, mhusika ambaye ana imani na nizamu kubwa sana. Uh, she managed to remain a virgin until she reached her school. Kwamba alibaki na bikra yake uh, mpaka anafikia katika elimu ya juu. And also she is unexpectedly falls into traps uh, of a pregnant known as Jones who takes her and sleep with her out of her consent. Uh, lakini pia uh, mwanamke huyu bila kutarajia anajikuta anaingia katika mtego ambapo John alimwekea uh, uh, drugs kwenye drinks mwisho siku uh, akatumia hiyo opportunity uh, kuweza uh, kuweza kumrep. And also she falls in love with Dr. Jonathan uh, later on anakuja kujiingiza katika mahusiano na Dr. Jonathan after confirming that uh, she is HIV and pregnancy free baada ya kuambiwa kwamba hana ujauzito wala uh, hana 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 uh, virusi vya ukimwi She is forgiving she easily forgives her brother Tok lakini pia ameonesha kama uh, msichana ambaye ni mwepesi wa kusamehe kwani inaonekana uh, dhahiri amemsamehe kaka yake Uh, uh, a talk uh, and uh, when he come back from Kampala despite of uh, neglecting her uh, in his better days japokuwa kipindi cha nyuma aliweza kumtenga lakini baada ya kutoka Kampala uh, kaka yake aliweza kumpokea another character in this book is known as the Vic musika mwingine katika kitabu hicho anafahamika kwa jina la Vic uh, she is an orphan I'm Senonia Tima in the Jerry's nice her who lives with him after mother's death Uh, pia anaonekana kama kuwa ni anko na uh, Jerry especially after mother's death baada ya wazazi wa Vicky kufa kwa walibaki kuwa kama yatima. Uh, she is expected by Jerry's family lakini anaonyeshwa kama msichana ambaye ananyunywa na familia ya Jerry. We are told that uh, uh, she went to uh, uh, Bundibugnyo uh, to pick a tea in the plantation but the man was uh, prepared to amort who used it to pay in school fees kwamba alikuwa akienda a uh, a uh, uh, Bugabunyo kwa ajili ya kwenda kuchuma chai lakini fedha zote zilikuwa akipata alikuwa akipewa amoti kwa ajili ya kupelekwa shule so she become a prostitute temporary later on a uh, wimbeda akajikuta anajiingiza katika masuala ya umalaya uh, she decided to go for commercial sex as a result of the influence from her friends to see and kunihira Uh, baadaye anajikuta anajiingiza katika masuala ya malaria baada ya kushawishiwa uh, na marafiki zake ambao walikuwa wanafanya commercial sex yani biashara ya kuuza mili ambao ni tusiime na kunihira and also she marries arganyira but they are not blessed uh, with the child lakini alikuja kuolewa na arganyira lakini hawakupata baraka ya kupata mtoto her husband pressurized her to go to the witch doctor where she gets hiv she become a victim and dies uh, of the same lakini kutokana na sababu hiyo kutoka kupata mtoto mume wake amshawishi waenda kwa mganga mwisho wa siku wakachanjwa kwa wembe mmoja uliopelekea mpaka wote uh, wakapata maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimu she has no stand ameonesha kama msichana ambaye hana msimamo she lives uh, akena because of complications made by her uh, by caretakers and also uh, she is a good advisor she advises aboki uh, not to go for money it is better she gets married to a beggar provided uh, the love each other lakini pia ameoneshwa kama ni mshauri mzuri kwani anamshawishi aboki uh, asitoke tu kwa ajili ya fedha ila uh, inabidi apate marriage apate ndoa ambayo itamfanya uh, kila mtu anakuwa na, na upendo kwa mwingine yes another character of this book is known as david Mosika mwingine katika kitabu hicho anafahamika kwa jina la David. Uh, he is a son of rich and important man both uh, government and the uh, Kabaka's council in Kampala. Uh, Huyu ameonekana kama ni mtoto wa tajiri. 
lakini pia uh, uh, kwamba anamiliki anatokea katika uh, baraza kuu la kabaka pale Kampala uh, he's a tox friends and university a dropout uh, lakini pia ni rafiki wa uh, 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 tox lakini pia uh, ni mtu ambaye alireject kutoka katika university aliacha masomo yake ya chuo kikuu he's a humanizer like his father yeye pia ameoneshwa kama malaya wa kiume kama alivyokuwa uh, baba yake the also says uh, he was he the father perfect replica uh, his influence at all to start hunting for girls kama baada ya kuacha shule babake alianza kumshawishi aendelee kuwinda uh, watoto wa kike uh, he dressed expensive and his greatest hobby uh, to chat with girls alikuwa akivaa nguo za gharama na alikuwa akipenda kuwasiliana na watoto wa kike uh, he is not worth being emulated uh, kutokana na characteristics or attributes most of our five kuigwa uh, na jamii zetu Uh, another character in this book is known as Birungi. Mhusika mwingine uh, katika uh, kitabu chetu au riwaya yetu anafahamika kwa jina la Birungi. She is a Jerry's uh, concubine who lives in Burungu. Uh, Huyu ameoneshwa kama concubine yani kimada. Uh, kimada wa nani? Kimada wa Jerry. She is very beautiful with attractive hair. Msana huyu ameoneshwa kama ni msiana mmoja mzuri na ana nywele za kuvutia. She is prostitute and expert of men. Lakini ameoneshwa kama msiana ambaye ni malaya lakini anawanyonya sana wanaume. She exploited Jerry who steals his school funds to build her house. Uh, and sells his prose uh, rented to finance her stops kwamba uh, maoneshwa kama ni uh, musika ambaye anamshawishi adjeli mpaka anaiba fedha shule na anabegia nyumba uh, she is a former secretary of adjeli lakini kumbuke kwamba alishayekuwa ni katibu wa adjeli uh, when he was uh, headmaster <coughs> of St Rose High School kipindi ambapo adjeli alikuwa ni headmaster uh, wa St Rose High School And also she is a betrayer. Mustafa pia ameoneshwa kama ni msaliti. She betrays at Jerry by uh, throwing him out uh, when he needed her help while uh, they spend a good time together. She takes another uh, boyfriend just to a second day who takes over at Jerry's place. Uh, Mustafa kwanza ameoneshwa kama ni msaliti kwani uh, anaonekana kumfukuza at Jerry uh, kipindi ambapo uh, at Jerry hana fedha tena za kumpa. Uh, ndipo akamkaribisha mwanaume mwingine siku iliyofuata kuja kuchukua nafasi ya Adjer. Ah uh, dear listener now we are going to look on the setting of this book. Uh, the setting of this book is both uh, uh, in rural areas, other in urban and other is uh, uh, unknown place. Uh, kwamba kitabu hichi mandhari yake ileo sukwa ni ya, ya kijijini lakini pia kuna mandhari ya, ya mjini na mandhari zingine ambapo uh, kuitaja direct inakuwa ni vigumu. So the setting of this book uh, is specifically Uganda uh, throughout in a broader and general sense it represents the whole of Africa. Uh, furthermore down the line of setting can be uh, subdivided into urban and rural setting. Kwa mamanda generally hichi kitabu ni Uganda lakini uh, pia inawakilisha nchi nyingi sana za Kiafrika ambazo kuna baadhi ya mambo yaliyozungumziwa katika hichi kitabu yanafanyika. Lakini pia tazaruka divide kwamba kuna rural settings uh, for example rural setting occupies most of part of the book Uh, and evidence in the following ways kwamba uh, rural setting ndizo tukaiona katika uh, manzari zifuatazo uh, first of all we have witch doctors in uh, in kahina this is a common in rural areas witch doctors uh, are zungumziwa hapa kahina e common way na found katika rural areas maeneo vijijini also sports beating uh, this is also a common rural uh, than in urban areas issue ya, ya kipigo uh, kupiga kupiga <coughs> wanawake issue ni common inafa, inafanyika sana vijijini And also Uncle Arari is living in the village Ihunga lakini pia Uncle Arari tunaambua anaishi uh, kijijini Ihunga where uh, they are using bicycle at the means of transport na tunaambua anatumia baskeli kama ni means of food of transport and also name of villages such as Karambi uh, Bundigubunyo uh, Korimba Burungu and etc also some of the rural settings kwa maana hizi manza alizotajwa hapa za vijiji zinaashiria kabisa kwamba uh, Uh, kuna setting ambayo ni rural kuna setting ambayo kuna mandhari ambayo ni ya kijijini and also have urban setting such as people like Yakena uh, who own a garage uh, this is a common towns kuna watu kama kina Akena ambao anamiliki garage uh, hii common huwa inakuwa mjini and also uh, 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 we have the issue of presence of a restaurant 
plus a common town issue kuwepo kwa restaurant issue kuwepo kwa bar mara nyingi sana zinapatikana maeneo ya mijini and also prostitution or commercial sex is also a uh, features of urban settings lakini pia issue ya malaya mara nyingi sana huwa inafanyika mjini for example here in the doma when you go in the area such as chako ni chako can found such kind of business is going on kwa mfano hapa dodoma uh, ukienda maeneo kama chako ni chako unaweza kukuta hii tabia uh, inafanyika <coughs> Yeah and also we have other settings these are also school settings tuna mandhari zingine kama mandhari ya shule uh, 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 which is not clear whether in town or village ambayo hii haifahamiki sasa kama ni uh, kijijini au mjini kwa sababu tuna ambao kuna St. Laws High School St. Maria Great uh, and the Girls Secondary School Kinyamsika Primary School and etc kwa hiyo tukasema direct kwamba ni mjini au kijijini and also we have hospital settings where about goes uh, for test lakini pia tunayo uh, uh, hospitali ambapo waboki alienda kwa ajili ya kufanya vipimo na akagundulika kwamba uh, ana slim yani ana ukimwi <coughs> yeah and now uh, in this book uh, there are various techniques or style which has been employed such as the use of uh, point of view those of songs uh, and also the use of monologue or soliloquy and also uh, the use of flashback style which you can discuss uh, in, in in another analysis now uh, let me turn our attention direct uh, to look uh, on the issues such as the language use uh, in this book uh, we said that the language used in this book is simple and straightforward kwamba lugha inayotumika katika kitabu hichi ni rahisi na ni ya moja kwa moja na inayoeleweka Uh, more of the novelist employ uh, many idioms sayings literary device uh, which are going to look as follows lakini pia mwandishi ameweza kutumia uh, ishu kama na how misemo pamoja na literary device mbalimbali ambazo tunazoonyesha kama zifuatazo kuna figures of speech uh, mwandishi amezitumia for example have simile comparison of two unlike entities by using conjunction for example when you pass through page 27 You understand uh, the uh, novelist says the man will die like a dog so like a dog is a simile and also we have onomatopoeia imitation of sound tuna onomatopoeia ambayo tunazungumzia mwigo wa sauti for example ui ui is the sound of crying page 4 you will found that and also ha 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 in page 7 you will sound uh, the sound of what routing that is all about onomatopoeia repetition of sound and also we have reiteration to repeat some things that you have already said kwamba kurudia kitu ambacho uh, tayari umeshakisema lakini kwa lengo la ko emphasis uh, for example how uh, hard in page uh, 14 you will find that and other means and also have metaphor a uh, comparison of two like entities without using conjunction unafanisha vitu vile bila kutumia kiunganishi for example uh, the novel says i have married a pig uh, in page 7 kama anasema nimeoa nguruwe in comparison of two unlike entities without using conjunction and also have a personification for example uh, uh, the novel says money will kill you uh, in page 42 kwamba fedha itakuwa uh, it means uh, in reality fedha cannot kill someone fedha hizi kaua mtu kwa hiyo ni personification and also we have uh, understatement uh, and we have issues such as barbarism for example as uh, this involves the use of more languages uh, for example uh, in this book we can find words such as bazungu to mean muzungu uh, uh, bakombozi nyamahanga uh, matoke uh, waragi and oburo and also we have some symbols which employed in this book for example pig uh, to present useless man mtu ambaye hana faida and uh, slim slim also used as a symbol of aids Slim nayo imetumika kama kusimbolize gonjo la ukimwi. Kwa hiyo kwenye kitabu ukisikia mtu ana slim eh, sio mtu anabadilisha dini kutoka kwenye labda Ukristo au pagani kuja Uislamu no. It means ana slim, ana ngoma, ana ukimwi. <coughs> Now let turn our attention to look on themes uh, found in this novel. Uh, kwa sasa tuangalie dhamira ambazo zimeweza kujitokeza katika uh, uh, ino yetu au roho yetu. Uh, the first theme is all about HIV AIDS or the miracle katika hichi kitabu tunaweza tukasema kama ni issue ya gonjwa la ukimwi mm, this is the disease that invaded the society uh, and the spread like bush fire kama ni gonjwa ambalo limeoneshwa linadhamia jamii na jamii inakuja ku spread uh, like fire na ndio inatengenezwa title of the book past like shadow watu wengi sana walikufa familia nzima ya Algeria tunaona jinsi ilivyo sambaratika so hiv and aids 
uh, ni dhamina moja hapo ki discuss bi uh, in this book uh, and also have the issue of uh, prosmiscuit uh, prosmiscuit is a situation of someone having many sexual partners who are not legally married to him or her kwamba prosmiscuit ni kitendo cha tabia mbaya mtu kuwa uh, na mahusiano na partner wengi illegally eh yani bila kufuata sheria yani hajaoa this situation is that the child found himself in coding kwa bad child tunaona ni mtu ambaye anajiingiza katika hicho kitendo kwani uh, anamiliki wake wengi uh, kama kina birungi pamoja na mkewe eh, it means birungi alikuwa on the illegally uh, not only that also all big people who could help a book demand the body pressure before they could not anything lakini tunaona watu wakubwa wakubwa ambao walikuwa nataka kumsaidia book walikuwa naombea kwanza awape sex ndipo aweze kuwasaidia kwa inaonyesha kwamba prosmiscuous behaviors zikuwa zinaendelea and also John is also a prosmiscuous because uh, he drugs a book and sleep with her without her consent kwamba tunaona mtu kama uh, John pia ni mtu ambaye amejihusisha katika kufanya hivyo vile ndio kwani anamwekea uh, trick uh, anamfanyia mchezo uh, John anamfanyia mchezo huyo binti Abok mwisho wa siku analala naye bila ya willing ya book mwenyewe. And another theme discussed in this book is all about the prostitution. Uh, Zamina nyingine ambayo imejadiliwa katika kitabu hichi ni uh, prostitution. Prostitution in Swahili means uh, umalaya. Umalaya. Uh, this is a situation of doing sex for sale or in other word is a commercial sex. Kama hichi ni kitendo cha kufanya uh, mapenzi kwa kuuza or in another word you call it commercial sex biashara ya ngono. We also told that the one of the chief uh, reason of this behavior seems to be poverty. Na tunaambia sababu kubwa ya watu kufanya hichi uh, kitendo ilikuwa ni umaskini. Uh, for example, see people such as to see men de kunira, they engage in sexual work, think himself, uh, think herself, engage in sexual work and also birungi is, is one of the uh, prostitute and Eda also is a prostitute as she exploits her talk and makes his lose his control in life. Kwa hiyo sika wote tunaona ni jinsi gani walivyoweza kujiingiza katika masuala ya commercial sex. <coughs> yeah. Another issue of this book is all about peer pressure and influence. Hapa tunaangalia ushawishi e, wa makundi au marafiki. Uh, peer pressure uh, implies that the influence of one gets from his or her friends. Kwamba tunaangalia ule ushawishi wa mtu ambaye anaweza kupata kutoka uh, kwa marafiki zake. For example, this book of Vic uh, becomes a victim of the peer pressure from her friends. Kwa mfano, Vicky katika kitabu tunaona anakuwa ni mwathirika wa uh, ushawishi kutoka kwa marafiki zake ambao ni tusiime na kunihira wana advice mpaka anajikuta anajiingiza katika masuala ya commercial sex and also a talk is influenced by david lakini mhusika mwingine ambaye alijiingiza katika ushawishi alikuwa ni atoki ambaye alishawishiwa na david or at the end of the day he dies with hivs due to the uh, womanization behavior na mshua siku anakufa na ukimo kutokana na kuiga ile tabia ya kujiingeje katika sex na uh, watu wengi and also another theme which is discussed in this book is all about ignorance and superstition. Ah uh, tuna dhamina nyingine ya ujinga pamoja na uchawi au imani za kishirikina. Most of the people in this novel seem to be ignorant. Kwamba watu wengi katika hicho kitabu wameoneshwa kama ni watu ambao ni ignorant. They are not only ignorant about the disease but also they don't know uh, the ways the disease spreads. Sio tu walikuwa wajui uh, kwamba ili gonjwa lipoje lakini pia walikuwa wajui hata ili gonjwa linaenezwa vipi For example in page 27 of this book uh, the novelist says by using the character Moti kwamba kwa sasa shina saba hicho kitabu uh, muhusika uh, mwandishi anasema kwa kumtumia muhusika Moti kwamba all in all she was ignorant about the weird disease her husband was suffering from Neza was she aware that herself was already infected with some uh, virtual race or those she was kwa naonesha kabisa uh, amote anasubirisha kwamba watu walikuwa ignorant watu walikuwa hawaelewi kwamba ile gonjwa lipoje na linaenezwa vipi uh, Vicky's husband also take heart at which doctor in order to get uh, a baby instead of get uh, of she get HIV kwamba pia tunaoneshwa ujinga mwingine ni kwa mume wa Vic ambaye anamchukua kumpeleka kwa mganga uh, ili waweze kupata mtoto lakini mwisho siku wapati mtoto wanapata HIV and also the victim of slims are attacking to witch doctors uh, with the belief that they have been uh, bewitched 
kwamba uh, tunaona uh, tatizo lingine ambalo ni la ignorance watu walikuwa wakipata slim yani wakipata HIV walikuwa wakichukuliwa na wakipelekwa kwa witch doctors kwa waganga wa kienyeji wakiamini kuwa wamerogwa uh, while in reality not lakini kiwalisia ilikuwa sio kweli another issue which discussed in this book is all about poverty na uh, dhamana nyingine ambayo imejadiliwa katika hicho kitabu ni issue ya umaskini uh, because most of the people are unable to afford basic needs Uh, kwamba watu wengi walioneshwa kwamba hawawezi kupata mahitaji ya msingi such as food shelter and causes kwamba hawezi kupata chakula marazi pamoja na makazi for example viki to swim and kunihira are forced to engage in prostitution in order to meet their basic needs including food and clothing tunaona kama watu kama kina viki to swim na kunihira wanajiingiza katika masuala ya commercial sex ya kuuza nili ili waweze kupata fedha na eh, wajikimu kimaisha Uh, and also due to the poor condition at home atoki forced to move uh, from home to Kampala lakini pia kutokana na maisha magumu atoki ndio ilimfanya aka move kutoka nyumbani kwao mpaka kwenda Kampala and also what makes people to trust uh, in which doctors kwamba pia umaskini ndio ulifanya watu uh, wakaanza kuamini uh, adi wale ma witch doctors wale waganga wa kienyeji and uh, another issue which can be discussed here uh, in this book Uh, which is very important is all about uh, is all about conflict found lakini kitu kingine cha muhimu cha kujadili katika hichi kitabu ni issue nzima ya migogoro migogoro ambayo imeweza kujitokeza katika hichi kitabu first of all uh, we must understand that we have variety of conflict kwamba tuna migogoro ya namna tofauti tofauti first of all we have family conflict kwanza tuna migogoro ya kifamilia uh, as we see uh, the conflict between Algeria and Amot which makes them to separate wafano mgogoro wa uh, adikeli pamoja na moti mbapo kawafanya wakatangana and also a talk is forced to move uh, from home due to the constant conflict with daddy lakini a talk ya nafukuzo njibani kutoka na mgogoro na baba yake and also we have a conflict between Vicky and, uh, and her husband relatives force her to visit witch doctors uh, lakini pia tunuwa kuna mgogoro mgini kati ya Vicky pamoja na mwake uh, mbaka na wazimisho kuna kuonana na uh, mganga iliweze kutibiwa kupata mtoto all we are uh, all we are our family conflict and also we have intrapersonal conflict kwamba mgogoro wa mtu intra uh, within a person mgogoro wa nafsi aboki suffers from interpersonal conflict after being raped by john kwa mfano aboki tunaona anasafa kutoka kwenye ile interpersonal conflict anakuwa na mgogoro wa nafsi baada ya kubakwa na john lakini pia uh, Vic also suffers uh, interpersonal conflict uh, first he was uh, living with her uncle who mistreats her kwamba uh, Uh, Vicky pia ni miongoni mwa wasika ambao ana mgogoro wa nafsi baada ya kuishi na mkoo wake na kumfanyia mistreatment. Mkoo wake alikuwa hamtreat good kwa akawa ana mgogoro wa nafsi. Yes, another issue to discuss in this book is all about the position of woman. Ah, uh, issue nyingine ambayo inabidi tuangalie katika hicho kitabu ni nafasi ya mwanamke. Uh, a woman portrayed as a tool of pressure by men a uh, mwanamke ameoneshwa kama uh, mtu ambaye ni chombo cha starehe kwa mwanaume for example uh, aboki by john aboki anatumiwa na john kama chombo cha starehe eda by atok eda ametumika kwa atok uh, birungi by adjel birungi alitumika kwa adjel uh, david with uh, his father uh, we are using a lot of women and girls for the same reason lakini pia tumeona watu kama david na babako walikuwa wanatumia wanawake wengi kwa reason hiyo kwa woman in this book portrayed as a tool uh, as a tool of pressure by men and also women are portrayed as a prostitutes uh, wanawake pia wanaoneshwa kama ni watu ambao ni malaya for example a uh, viki kunhira and to see me the series of bodies watu kama kina Vicky uh, au Kunira ndio tusimie tusime umeoneshwa kama ni wasika ambao wanauza nili yao and also women are portrayed as a weak and have no sake lakini pia uh, wanawake umeoneshwa kama ni watu ambao ni wadhaifu na hawana usemi wote kwa jamii a woman is shown as a weak uh, versus that man uh, can manipulate the way they wish kama mwanamke umeoneshwa ni mtu dhaifu na mwanaume anaweza kumtumia the way anavyotaka for example uh, uh, Vic Uh, is portrayed as the one who is weak and akena kwa mfano msika kama viki pamoja na akena au tumeoneshwa kama ni watu ambao uh, wameoneshwa kama uh, ni dhaifu na hawana usemi wote and also woman portrayed as superstitious mwanamke pia ameoneshwa kama ni mtu anayeamini anaamini katika masuala uh, ya kushirikina for example amoti believes that a sickness of her husband is due to witchcraft kwa mfano amoti aliamini kwamba kuumwa kwa mume wake kunatokana na korogo 
and also woman portrayed as a jealous person lakini pia mwanamke anaonesha kama ni mtu mwenye chuki we are told that Yamoti does not want to be kitumia vya Kenya because of jealous Uh, tunaambiwa kwamba Amoti alikuwa hataki kabisa viki aweze kuolewa na Akena hii ni kutokana na chuki kwa woman hiyo portrayed as a one who have a jewels and also woman portrayed as a gossiper uh, mwanamke pia ameoneshwa uh, kama ni mtu ambaye uh, <coughs> ana feelings za gossiper Amoti and Aboli are seen uh, gossiping against the wife of which a uh, shopkeeper in page 3 uh, when you pass through you will uh, you realize that and also in this book a woman portrayed as a parent and caretakers kwamba katika kitabu pia amwandishi anamuonesha mwanamke kama ni mtu ambaye ana care family yake uh, apa sasa tutarudia kumzungumzia Amot despite of uh, her husband was irresponsible but she tend to care his family atakuwa mume wake alikuwa ajibiki lakini alikuwa na care family Those women portrayed as a betrayer lakini pia mwanamke ameoneshwa kama ni msaliti we are told that Adjeri loses job because of the financial scandal that is squandered uh, the school funds to build a house and says his plot and learn to open a shop uh, for her yet when he is sick uh, thrown him away kwamba tunaona kabisa uh, Adjeri anafukuzwa shule kwa ajili ya wizi uh, lakini yule mke wale banaye na wakajenga nyumba mwisho siku anakuja kumfukuza ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Birungi And also women are portrayed as a good advisor. Mwanamke pia anaonesha kama mtu mwenye ushauri mzuri. For example, Vic, Vic advised the book not to go uh, after money. It will kill her. Kwamba Vic alikuwa akimshawishi aboke asiende kuolewa kwa jiji ya fedha kwani itasababisha aweze kufa. And also a woman portrayed as a responsible person. Pia mwanamke anaonesha kama ni mtu ambaye anawajibika. Uh, Amoti takes all the family responsibility while Adjir uh, is enjoying the life of his concubine. Kwamba uh, Amoti alikuwa akichukua majukumu yote ya familia uh, hali ya kuwa Adjir alikuwa akienjoy uh, maisha yake huko alipokuwa. Another issue which discussed in this book is all about uh, irresponsibility. For example, this is uh, portrayed by showing by, by Adjir who is irresponsible. Hii inaonyesha na Adjir ambaye alikuwa hawajibiki. And another issue is all about tribalism, ukabila. Uh, this issue of tribalism is shown by Amoti have a spirit of tribalism uh, since she denies the key to marry Kenya. And also we have the issue of bad price. Tuna issue pia mahali inaonyeshwa kama traditional issues. Uh, uh bad price is stabbing block of African youth to get married to their loved ones. Kwamba inaonekana mahali ni kitu ambacho ni kikwazo kwa baadhi ya watu kuoa uh, wale wanaopenda. Uh, Vicky whether it is a personal uh, call or danke, the gift of parents has led to loss of humanity. Kwamba uh, wazazi wanapoteza ile humanity kwa wanakuwa nataka uh, mahali nyingi. Kwa mfano uh, tunaona jinsi gani na uh, Vicky walipokuwa alipokuwa akitaka kuolewa na Akena jinsi mali ilipokuwa ikitajwa kubwa ili aweze kushindwa. Uh, and also we have issue of uh, wife uh, bettering uh, kwamba dhamira ya kupiga watoto wa kike. This shown by Adjeri who tend to beat her wife. Yeah. And also uh, we have the issue of influence of mass media, the issue of betrayal, uh, which can be shown uh, in number of ways when you pass or you read this book. Now, we'll turn our attention on the message that we learn in this book. Uh, kwa sasa tuangalie uh, ujumbe ambao tunaupata katika hichi kitabu. First of all, it is important uh, to speed HIV AIDS education to people uh, in order to, to prevent uh, spread of this disease kwanza na bitu toe elimu kwa watu ili tuweze ku avoid ku speed kwa ili ako ligonjwa and also another message is multiple sex partners increases the chance of getting HIV AIDS kwamba kujihusisha kwa nyuma penzi na watu wengi ndio sababu inayopelekea kuendelea kuenea kwa ili gonjwa uh, and another message is that the, the people should uh, do good things when they are still alive that is they can be remembered uh, for good when they die kwamba watu wanavoishi lazima wafanye uh, vitu vizuri ili watawakifa viweze kukumbukwa. Uh, this book uh, is very relevant in African societies. It clearly depict some of common issues that are uh, prevalent in African context. Kwamba hicho kitabu kinaualisia kabisa na maisha ya Kiafrika kwani kinaelezea issues zote ambazo zinatokea katika jamii zetu. Issues such as superstition, ignorance, uh, found in our contemporary societies. And also issues such as bad price Uh, the influence of peer pressure also are common in our society. Kwa kwa hiyo kitabu hichi kitabakia kuwa na uhalisia mkubwa katika jamii zetu. Ah, uh, dear listener, 
ukitaka kupata video zetu au audio zetu ambazo zinatoka kila wiki a uh, ningependa unatafute kwa namba yangu ya uh, 06225 Uh, 48220 nitakuishia popote ulipo kwa gharama nafuu. Usahau kusubscribe, ku like na ku comment katika channel hii uh, ili kuniwezesha mimi niendelee kuwepo. Thanks for listening.